Oh! We're in... an apartment now. Hey, the password for your computer is Sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer, it's yours. I dropped you an email with my address. Come on over after you get settled. Mercurio. So we're beyond the cab ride, and we have arrived in... What was it? Santa Monica? At your convenience, please come and visit me at my home downtown. I leave you this guide to... I leave this to guide you. Dark blood, our curse, a light this verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. M. Strauss, Tremere Regent. Hey, this is somebody else. This is not Mercurio. Unless if Mercurio's last name is Strauss. Oh! What'd I do? Oh no! Do I gotta go find blood ASAP? Is there any in the fridge? Oh, there actually is! Blood pack! A bag of blood routinely used in hospitals for transfusions. Using it restores blood points. Oh, there's two more here. Is there a limit to how much I can carry? I don't know anything! Oh no... What happens if I don't have enough blood? Do I go into frenzy... right away? I guess I should take a pack right now, right? Just to... you know... not need blood? <laughs> to the point that I'm basically dying. But I guess if we can choose to, it's probably best to save these up, because these are in packs and... yeah... The ones that we get from people are probably a little bit riskier to get, though. Did this thing say there was money here? Yes, cash in the drawer. One hundred dollars. Thank you. Wow, so not only have we begun a new life as a vampire, but we're not even in the same city anymore. And all of my old stuff... We just don't have it? Laqua Foundation Secure Intranet. You have five emails. Five are unread. By the way, does my, uh... Does my blood go down periodically? I'm really hoping it doesn't, because suddenly, just now it was like, Oh, need blood, even though I didn't really do anything that required needing blood, right? No, oh, I don't want to manage that kind of stuff. Email. I don't... Oh, Sunrise. Yeah, so I guess something that's a little bit, um... Hmm, we have to level up our skill to hack. It's not like, hey, if you hack more, you'll get better at it. So just now, even though I could have hacked, even if I did it, it wouldn't have done anything for me, right? Okay. A reminder. From La Croix. Mercurio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time in meeting with him. SL. Who the hell's SL? <laughs> Something La Croix? Okay. Dang! It's big, you know? From hung low at trojanbotnet.vtm Penis enlargement! Watch the girls come running! Call today! 1800-555-STICK Uh, that might be a little bit irrelevant for me. Kilpatrick's Crime Putter From Arthur at dirtcheapinternet.vtm Looking for that lazy-ass husband who's late on his alimony payments? How about that jerk who knocked you up? Look no further! With Arthur Kilpatrick's amazing crime putter, you can find almost anyone with a record! And these days, that's just about everyone! So come on down to Arthur Kilpatrick's bail bonds! If you've got the deadbeat, we've got the technology to find him! Like a detective agency, but like, kinda trashy. <laughs> welcome! From Mercurio. Hey, welcome to town. Come on over to my place once you get situated, and we'll talk about what you'll need to get the job done. I'm gonna pick up explosives right now. Some astrolite. I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street, in number 4. Walk to the end of the alley, and my building is in the next one on the right. We don't really have a map, right? So I actually have to remember this. 24 Main Street, number 4. End of the alley. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. The opening, a friend. The game begins. A pawn is moved. That's... not scary at all. I don't want to delete my emails, do I? 
Okay, well, that's... Huh. Can we cook? Whoa, we have so many pizzas here, actually. Hello, LA. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Deb of Night. The only girl who will spend the night with you and leave first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Aren't I the popular one? Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, moo. Who will be the lucky caller? You've got the first shot at Deb tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. This is, uh, Vigo. Vigo? So, Vigo, why are you up so late? Um, I'm working late. What time is it right now? The, uh, yacht club. Uh-huh. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Two. Actually, three. Uh, one is, uh, in the shop. I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yacht do you have? Um, you probably wouldn't know the brand. I, uh, bought them in Italy. Ah, la Italia bella. Parlate italiano? Um, <laughs> yes. Arrivederci, Vigo. Caller two, you're on the Deb of Night. Be gentle. Hi, Deb. Hello, caller. Hi, Deb. Is tonight a rerun? Deb. Caller number three, <laughs> what's keeping you up tonight? Deb, listen to me, Deb. They're at it again and people have got to know. They've got to know because they don't know. They won't report the stuff on the news because they own the news. Oh, Hello, no. Gomez. What's the latest conspiracy? Conspiracy? This goes beyond conspiracy, okay? There's no word for something as devious and secret as this, you understand? The people need to hear this. They need to know the real Get to story. the point. You've got our undivided attention. All right. As we all know, the Americans established a moon base back in the late 70s. <laughs> That's no secret. What most people don't know is that they have been conducting a dig, not for resources, but for artifacts. I see. Well, it's no coincidence that the Chinese have started conducting space missions. You know why? <laughs> I'll tell you why. The reason is because the Chinese are trying to stop the Americans from finding an ancient space probe sent by the Beta Centaurians. And why? Because the Beta Centaurians are giving space technology to the Chinese to get back at the Andromedans, a.k.a. the Greys, for giving space technology to the Americans in the 50s. Fascinating. American government's been putting more money into space. Don't you see what's happening? I can't believe I'm the only one that's figured it out. Am I the only person alive that can see what's going on? It's because the Andromedans and the Betas are going to be fighting their war in this galaxy through us, Deb. And the American people, the people of Earth, you people, cannot let this happen. It's Moo versus at last all over again. Thank you, Gomez. And that concludes the news portion of the show. Well, this girl's got to pay her bill, so it's time for a few commercials. But don't go anywhere. I'm just getting warmed up. Or should I say, hot. Friggin' Chicken recently challenged several random people <laughs> to a taste test between friggin' chicken. Maybe we'll come back another time. Yes. I thought that guy was gonna be like, Oh my god, I saw a bunch of vampires fighting in some alley at night. But no, it was just, you know, the evil space aliens and whatnot. And actually, that whole fight happened in a different town, so I guess it makes sense that nobody here would know about it. What is that? Normal watch. As opposed to what? A not normal watch? Oh. The Regent's Riddle. M. Strauss, the Tremere Regent, has invited you to his home in downtown Los Angeles. You need to find him. His invitation left a cryptic riddle. That's one quest. Wherefore art thou, Mercurio? Prince Lacroix has dictated that you are to meet with an agent of his named Mercurio in Santa Monica. He will provide you with the details of your assignment. I'm, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Anyway, I was trying to see what kind of watch we're looking at here. This is a replica of a much nicer watch. We can have more than one, apparently. You know, I feel like they left out a pretty important thing that I feel like I need to know by this point. Uh, they taught me how to feed on humans, and they said that I shouldn't be seen while I'm doing that. But what happens if I am seen? What happens if I am seen? Estrogen. Caution. Do not take if male. Can't use. Why do I need to take estrogen? Just randomly? But yeah, like, if I get seen, what happens? Do I, like, hunt down the person and kill them? Or how do I make them shut up and not report me to the police or whatever? Oh. Currently, the area that we're in is a masquerade area. 
which is the little symbol on the, the top of the bar on the left side, which means we can't do obvious stuff, but uh, what about lockpicking? Is this okay? This is against the log generally, right? Okay, we can't do this one. I guess we'll go outside and have a look. L.A. Sun, Carnival of Death. Gruesome remains found on the pier. Police baffled. Whoa, somebody being hung on some hook or something. I'm guessing we can't hack most of these. Not until we get better anyway. Oh, this is three. I might be able to do this one if I use a blood buff, right? But I'll save it because this is our home. This is our hub now, so I feel like we'll come back here pretty often. Let's go outside and have a look at the place first. It's mine? It's just scratched out. We should probably know our neighbors or something. Hey, hey lady. You, you got some change, lady? <laughs> you- oh my god, we can feed on him right now. What would be the difference between the third and the fourth one? Just what I want? You hungry? I am too. Hmm. We do seem to be all alone in this alley. Excuse me. Hey, hey lady. Oh. You got some change, lady? No, I'm sorry. I just talked to you again. <laughs> but this guy lives right outside my house. I feel like it's a bad idea, dude. Doesn't matter, I did it. I am a feeder. I am a vampire. Do I not feel sleepy at night anymore? According to the radio, it should be pretty- What is- Where was that? Pawn shop. Hi. Don't touch me, right? Oh, sorry. What was that? Some guy just bled out in front of a place? Medical clinic? Hey, that sounds like a place with a lot of blood. Do we have a map, actually? If I just press M. No, nothing. Maybe they'll teach me later. I feel like as a vampire, I want to stick to the alleys and not really look around on the main streets. But we gotta learn the place too, we can't just- oh. Whoa! Whoa, 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 I- okay. <laughs> I thought I was gonna drink some blood, but maybe not over there. Uh, hello? No? Oh, the police! Hi, I'm- I'm a regular citizen. I'm not a vampire. Restaurants? Fine wine shop. Oh, I thought there was a police car here or something, but it's just some random creepy light. Uh, no. Asylum? Hi. Uh, yes. Is there something I can, um, help you with? What are you doing? Waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town, this time of night. It's a rather dreadful place, don't you think? I should have listened to my mechanic by German, he said. <laughs> huh. Looking for a little company? I'm happily married. Damn it. To my work. And I have a wife, too. I was thinking of filling up my blood bar. But, uh, okay, yeah, this person's a well-off person. He looks nice. He has a suit and all. Okay, uh, could I persuade you to help me out? My wallet's been stolen. Afraid I'm a little short on cash right now. I'm so sorry. 
I probably look like a bum to him. Oh, well, maybe you're looking for a little company? I'm happily married okay. to my work, and I have a wife too. What was the red one again? Like intimidation or something? I'm not very intimidating right now, right? Uh, whatever, I'm out of here. What I wouldn't do for a glass of 79 Chateau Montebleau right now. If we fail at intimidating somebody, will they get mad and like, beat the hell out of me? Oh, this was the place. Santa Monica Suites. Sh should I follow? I mean, this looks... It's raining! Elysium. Here, you will be unable to use your vampiric disciplines. Oh my god. Are you okay? Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh! Are you Mercurio? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm. Oh! I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shanked me. The bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels. Cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. Oh my god. Can it regenerate? I don't know. D uh, stay with me. What happened? I got. I went. Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Uh. Yup, that's a rib. I'd say you got five minutes to live, tops. I'm lying here bleeding to death, and you're cracking wise? <laughs> I don't need this crap. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be. I didn't want to say it was a broken bottle and be like, Hey, man, just tell me what's happened. That's all. Uh, okay, okay. Just tell me who did this to you. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in LA. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junky pricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit. They got the money, they got the astrolite. You don't have the astrolite? Hold on, you think I'm some amateur? I got their number. Those small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Maybe four or five of them. The ones got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. So you don't have the astrolite? The explosives? How do I get there? Laying in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' directions. <laughs> Right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach, on the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. Uh, how do I get it back? You gotta, you gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in, I don't know. I wanna kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. Would you like some estrogen? I'll bring back something for you. Uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Good to know. Goodbye. He does not look well, and I'm not- I'm pretty sure calling the ambulance isn't really an option here. So, okay. Holy god, that's a lot of blood. Mercurio? Uh. Okay, try not to die. Goodbye.
the, the phone just rang for like half a second. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, we have a lot going on suddenly already. Mercurio needs some painkillers. If we piss people off, like how much does that affect things? We get branched off into certain sections of quests, I guess. Anyway, we gotta get some painkillers, we gotta get the astrolite back, and it would be awesome if we can also get the money back. Are we that good at talking? I don't know, man. I mean, I already messed this one up. Gruesome remains were found on the Santa Monica Pier. Right, right. That was on the... newspaper. Okay. Well, if I want some... If I wanted some painkillers, I feel like I'd probably go to the hospital across the street. Medical clinic? If I can figure out how to get in. Hey! How's it going, girl? Uh, do I know you? Oh man, wait! Say that again! No. There you go, oh, man! <laughs> You're a vampire, aren't you? What? Let's say I am. What's it to you? Hell yeah! Oh man! I knew it! I just- Oh jeez, I knew you were- I just could tell I- Oh man, this is great! And, and I saw your teeth and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh man! Uh... I, I didn't say I am a vampire, okay? I just said, let's say I am. But he already believes it. Are you a vampire? How do you know all this? I'm a ghoul. I didn't know Whoa. about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared and... Well, all of a sudden... BAM! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind. Oh, there's other, like, non-vampire species here. You said you're a ghoul? What's that? Well, the way it was explained to me... Whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. Then they're a ghoul and ooh, watch out. Is that different from being a vampire? Like drinking less vampire blood? Because my understanding right now is that, okay, if you drink a little bit, then you're a ghoul. If you drink a lot, then you're, you become a vampire too? Can I ask all these questions? It doesn't seem so, right? So I wanna, um, hmm. Can I ask you some questions? Oh man, yeah, sure! What do you wanna know? Where can I get some painkillers? Who was the vampire that made you a ghoul? Oh man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh man! <laughs> Other than my master, so I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? It sounds like the vampire ghoul relationship doesn't stop with a transferring of blood. Does he need to get blood regularly? Is he like bound to his master now? Ah, oh, don't be an idiot. Of course you can tell me. Hey chick, just because <laughs> I'm a ghoul and you're some cool vampire, you don't need to treat me like crap, okay? Oh man, you make me so mad! That wasn't supposed to be that mean. I apologize. What are you doing around here? Well, look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey! <laughs> it's been great talking to you, man. But I'd better be going. Oh, man! You know, important stuff to do. <laughs> I didn't ask you about the beach yet, but see you around. Whoa. We've got a crowd here. What's up, girl? Can I ask you some questions? Oh man, yeah, sure. What do you want to know? Is there anything I should know about in Santa Monica? Oh yeah, here's something. There's a blood bank in the basement of this medical clinic here. That can come in mighty handy for vampires. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thanks, can I ask you more? Oh man, yeah, sure. What do you want to know? How do I get to the beach from here? Just go down to the end of the street. 
Make a left into the parking garage, take the steps down, and the tunnel will lead you right out into the beach. Thanks. Bye. I feel like I need to put a little bit more care in deciding what to answer. Oh, everyone's taking cover because it's raining right now. That's cool. Because, uh, I guess Toreadors are more seductive and very, like, they know how to talk very well. But that's not really me. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta, like, decide how I want to do this. Sorry, man. <laughs> you all looking for treatment? Please wait your turn, and you'll be seen. <sighs> I'm just bringing my friend who's been treated with some personal items. All right, go on back. All right. Can I go behind here, dude? The freaking get the lights fixed. Am I allowed to look at this? Uh, uh, please, get a doctor. I'll see what I can do. Ah, uh, my insides, it hurts so bad. Heather. Oh no, where's the doctor? Stairs. So that's probably for the basement. A am I allowed to be here? I'm sorry, miss, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. But there's this girl over there, and I think she's gonna die. See here now, I'm the only physician here at the moment. We got twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. I'll look at her as soon as possible. Uh, try to talk to her, keep her awake. But... I've got a man in there with a bullet in his head. Ooh. When Nurse Page Dr. Roberts a half hour ago, he'd be here any time. Till then, stay with your friend and make sure she doesn't go into shock. I must go. Okay. Oh, okay, we've suddenly become medical volunteer. <laughs> Can someone call my grandma, please? Did something big happen in this town tonight, or is this just the norm? Stay with me, I can save you. We do have a way of saving her, right? But it's not something we should be doing, considering our Sari got killed for that. Can we do it? We're kind of new. I don't know if we can make other vampires. Oh, this is not a good idea. Mm, is this against the rules? I don't know the rules. Maybe my blood can save you. But that's how a ghoul is made. Isn't it? Do you feel better? Oh, okay, that was a good thing. You alright? You... Who... Who are you? Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? <sighs> Nothing. I must be going now. Hmm? <laughs> Who are you? Can I help you with something? She forgot. Did I make her forget? Uh, just passing through. I just need some rest. Now. Okay. Well, we did a good thing. We did a good thing. And now we have three experience points, right? In addition to... Four, we have four. Let's hold on to this for a little bit, because I don't know... At this point, I'm not sure what we should be putting into. Because we haven't tried everything yet. I told you, I will get to you when I can. Please take a seat. Okay. If I could only rest for a second. Shiz, what's going on tonight? This isn't even a hospital, it's a clinic. And you get people with bullets in their heads? It's pretty hardcore. I don't know how, like, 
this is not good for me to be here, right? Just how careful do I have to be? Medication? Aggressive feelings. Can't really read the rest of it. Administration. If I get caught, I'm really hoping I can talk my way out of it, but we don't know. Computers from Grandma. To begin, put the foot pedal on the desk and push the power button on the metal box. This is the house for your friend computer, Chip. The enchanted electric pixie that can do a 4.8 million billion calculations per second. Wow, that's fast, Chip. Do you see an image on the magical computer window? Reading this will boost your computer knowledge. Perfect. I don't know anything about computers right now. Whoa, they have a wireless mouse. That's pretty insane. What year is this? I don't know. SMCC, Secure Console, Administration, Emails. Hack. Lakers. Like, the basketball team? A little help. From Fred Dingo. Hey Danny, I could use a little help down here. Can you go up to control substances for some morphine? I'm pretty busy right now. Thanks, F-Dog. Hey, can I give morphine to Mercurio? Regarding Yo Mama. From Fred. No, it's not just for my personal use, you bastard. I didn't know. They were out upstairs. Oh, I didn't know they were out upstairs. Maybe you can get some in Malcolm's office. By the way, your mother wears combat boots. F-Dog. Regarding amnesia. Oh shit, that's cold. But I'll make sure to knock before I go in. I'd hate to catch him in the middle of a pelvic examination. And by the way, tell your mom to stop calling me. F-Dog. <laughs> mom jokes? That's how you can tell this is not from recent times. Malcolm's office for some morphine? Malcolm is a doctor, right? Mm -hmm. Personnel. Hmm? Email? Wait, 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 no, 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 we're doing this again. Personnel. Available commands. Oh, these are people's names. Yeah? Bill E? Dr. Bill has worked as this clinic's internal wrangler since 1999. So it's at least past 1999 here. Philip. Phlebotomus P? Oh, did I spell it wrong? Oh, Phlebotomus P? Phil Phlebotomus is a loyal employee and a hard worker, but seems to have some various digestive tract abnormalities, which unfortunately results in an increased rate of flatulence. <laughs> I thought something was wrong with his name. The smell of these phenomena is nothing short of horrendous. It seems we may have to do something about him. Fire him. St. Martin. Malcolm St. Martin, our night shift senior physician. Robert Stee, the other doctor. Never lost a patient. No one can succeed like Dr. Roberts. That doesn't seem like something that should be in a um, computer file, but okay. Thornton K. Malpractice. Unnecessary gynecology. Suggest termination. Oh, this is the pelvic exam guy. Okay. Well, that's cool. Now we know that we should get morphine at Dr. Malcolm's office. This wasn't an office. Uh, this is locked. I don't want people walking in on me. Wait, did I just take it? Oh, I walked over it and it took it naturally. It's estrogen again. That's it. I walk so damn fast. We failed it. Okay, so what is my lockpicking skill right now? 
It's two. If I use blood buff. Yes. But now we're in a place that we don't really belong, right? Morphine, yeah. Email? Panacea. Tonight? From P. Bennis. Malcolm, are you free tonight? I thought you could swing by my apartment after your shift. You do still make house calls, don't you, doctor? I have something that needs to be checked out. Paige. Uh, this could be... I think she's suspicious. <sighs> do I really have to ask twice? We don't have to do anything if you don't want. But I really do need some help studying for my anatomy test. Please? Ah, uh, yeah, you need help, all right. Ah, <sighs> guess I'll see you around five. I'm really glad you finally decided to come over. And if you should want me to show you my appreciation, you just have to ask. This guy's cheating on his wife. On your way home, Trina. Malcolm, do you think you'll be able to get a day off next week? My mother's coming into town on Thursday. I bought a new mattress and some new curtains for the guest room. And do you think you can pick up some donuts and orange juice on the way home for breakfast? Yeah, that's his wife. Oh, poor wife doesn't know anything. But maybe we can use this information to blackmail him. Patience? Yes, we got it. Poe. Oh. H. Poe. Ruptured organs, lacerations, internal bleeding, critical. A. Kilpatrick. A. Dot Kilpatrick. Severe tinea infection compounded by untreated herpes simplex 2. This is a lot of patient information that I don't know what to do with. Frequent bouts of sexlexia. What the hell sexlexia? <laughs> M. Barber. Chronic marboporitis. Uncurable. <laughs> this sound Wait, this sounds made up. I'm pretty sure it's made up. I don't know how much of this is relevant information, but I'm having fun reading everyone's emails anyway. So it doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> We can't get in here unless if we, like... We can't break the window, can we? There's stairs there. But another way that we can go down there is probably by the stairs over here. Hi. I told you, I will get to you when I can. Please take a seat. Mmm, do I want to do it right now? You Malcolm? Your wife know about your affair? Get out of here! Can't you see I'm with a patient? Uh I guess you don't care if your wife finds out then. Are you trying to blackmail me? You don't know who my wife is. She wouldn't believe you. Now get out! Then I'll go forward that email from Paige to Trina at sol.vtm. Wait now. What do you want? I don't know. I just blackmailed you because I could. <laughs> $75. Deal. But I'm in the middle of something. I'll have to drop it off later. Now never speak to me about that again. Put it somewhere in your office, doctor. I'll collect it later. Nurse, I'll be in the bathroom. Huh. That has got to be a humanity lost moment, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I hope that guy's not looking. Rather than blood, I'm really hoping to find some painkillers. Oh, I got the morphine, right? Yes. Used to ease the suffering of sufficiently painful wounds. That's such a strange way of saying that. How careful do I have to be? Maintenance? Whoa, am I allowed to be seen? 
I'm going to assume I'm not allowed to be seen. Shoot. Okay, we can open that with blood buff. Know me? They didn't see anything. They didn't see anything. <laughs> um. Uh, I feel like we probably could have done something there, but that guy shot me on sight. He didn't even go like, "Hey, who are you?" Because I was thinking maybe I could suck his blood, but uh, not like that. Not like that. Well, I guess we can go back to Mercurio first. But does the guy recognize me? Oh! Wait. Was I here before? Are the police still looking for me? Jeez. He scared me. I don't think that police car was there before. Mercurio? Oh. Oh, damn. Did you die on me? Uh. Brought you some morphine. Hold still. Uh. Oh. oh, holy Christ. I needed that. Uh. You're welcome. I'll come back when I have the astrolite. <sighs> Goodbye. Okay, we did good. We did good. 